नमस्कार नमस्कार दिस इज द थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ ड्राइंग इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द वट आर द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ ड्रायर्स एंड वी विल स्टडी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ड्रायर सो द ड्रायर्स विच वी विल स्टडी इन दिस लेक्चर आर ट्रे ड्रायर एंड ड्रम ड्रायर आई डॉक्टर सत्य प्रकाश सिंह प्रोफेसर एंड डायरेक्टर ऑफ बाबू सुंदर सिंह कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी विल प्रोसीड फर्दर टू द थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ दिस फार्मास्यूटिकल इंजीनियरिंग थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ ड्राइंग सब्जेक्ट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ ड्रायर्स बेसिंग ऑन द हीट ट्रांसफर मेकानिज्म ड्रायर्स आर क्लासिफाइड इन टू थ्री कैटेगरीज फर्स्ट वन इज कन्वेक्शन ड्रायर्स सेकेंड टाइप इज कंडक्शन ड्रायर्स एंड थर्ड टाइप इज रेडियंट हीट ड्रायर्स कंडक्शन ड्रायर्स आर फर्दर डिवाइडेड फोर टाइप्स दैट इज और दिज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ कन्वेक्शन ड्रायर्स ट्रे और सेल्फ ड्रायर रोटरी ड्रायर टनल ड्रायर्स फ्लूडाइज बेड ड्रायर्स कंडक्शन ड्रायर्स एग्जाम्पल्स आर वैक्यूम ओवन फ्रिज ड्रायर and radiant heat dryers the examples are infrared dryers moving on to the first dryer of today's lecture what is this the first dryer is tray dryer so in this dryer as you see in the diagram this is the diagram of a tray dryer there are number of trays are present on these trays the materials are kept for drying so what is the principle behind uh, the application of this tray dryer in tray dryer this hot air is continuously circulated this leads to forced convection as in the classification we have already seen the in tray dryer the mechanism of heat transfer is convection so this forced convection takes place uh, in case of tray dryer to remove moisture from the solids okay so the moistures which are present in the solids are removed by forced convection mechanism simultaneously the moist air is removed partially so this apparatus or equipment is also called as self cabinet self dryer or cabinet dryer or compartment dryer so the basic thing uh, which you have to remember is mechanism or principle and the principle is forced convection now the construction of this dryer this tray dryer it consists of a rectangular chamber if you see the diagram of this dryer it is rectangular in shape so the walls these walls of this tray dryer are insulated okay and these are placed inside the heating chamber as per need that means suppose as you see in the diagram 1 2 3 and 4 four trays are placed so if you want to uh, place uh, if you have a little amount of sample then you can place single tray if you have a more amount of samples are there you place two trays three trays it depends upon the need what is the amount of sample we want to dry accordingly we can place or we can use what are the number of trays into this tray dryer generally laboratory dryers or laboratory tray dryers it contains three minimum three trays and industry the number of trays has been increased up to 20 tray so generally laboratory tray dryers are having three trays 
and industrial tray dryers are having 20 trays. Each tray is about 1.2 to 2.4 meter square in area. The area of the, this tray is around 1.2 to 2.4 meter square. Distance between bottom of upper uh, tray and the surface of substance loaded in subsequent tray is 40 mm. That means, this distance is around 40 mm. Okay. And the area of this tray is around 1.2 to 2.4 meter square. Working of tray dryer, how it works? What happens at first uh, wet solid or the substance which is to be dried is loaded into the trays, wet solid are loaded into the trays. Then fresh air is introduced through this inlet. If you will see the diagram here, air inlet is there from this the fresh airs are introduced into this chamber, a uh, fan is attached, this fan circulates this fresh air and in this way the air moves into the, into the uh, this tray dryer. Here a point is there for air outlet that is heated air or air containing moisture that can go that is going out through this air outlet. Okay. Uh, screen is present in this place, through this screen the air uh, is uh, uh, this screen is called as fan screen. So, fresh air is introduced through the inlet that is air inlet which is present on this side and uh, which uh, this air passes through the heater and the material gets it gets heated up. As the fresh air passing over the heater this air gets heated up. This hot air is circulated by means of fan. The, the fan which is present over there at this point this fan circulates this hot air into the chamber speed of uh, uh, this fan is 2 to 5 meter per second. So, uh, this is the speed at which the hot air is circulated in this tray dryer. Now, the water is picked up by air and moist air is removed from the outlet. So, from the surface of this wet material water is removed by this hot air and as the hot air takes the out the moisture, this moist air is removed from this air outlet. During the uh, cycle of drying only 10 to 20 percent of fresh air is introduced and 80 to 90 percent air is circulated back. So, in this way this tray dryer works. Advantages of tray dryer. In this case, handling of materials can be done without losses. It can be operated both batch wise for following reasons. Uh, since tray dryer is a batch dryer or batch processes, that means uh, in this case we can dry a product for a certain uh, certain period of time after that we have to remove the trace and then another product is introduced into the tray dryer what are the reasons behind this batch operation each batch can be handled as a separate entity next equipment is 
adjusted for use in drying of variety of materials that means a uh, large quantity of materials or different types of materials can be dried in tray dryer by changing the or by adjusting the temperature as per need. Valuable products can be handled efficiently by using this tray dryers. Disadvantages of tray dryer. What are the disadvantages? It requires more labor to load and unload. Since it is a batch process, so a person is needed to remove the trays from the tray dryer and again to load the tray into the tray dryer. So, for loading and unloading, labor cost is increased. Second, with these type of activities, it takes much more time to dry a product. So, labor cost is increased and time consuming process. So, these are some disadvantages associated with tray dryer. Uses of tray dryer, it is used for sticky materials, plastic substances can be uh, dried into tray dryers, precipitates, chemicals, these can be dried into tray dryers, tablet granules, the most important part and powders, these things can also be dried into tray dryer. So, this is the most uh, widely used application of tray dryer in pharmaceutical field. Next dryer uh, that uh, we are going to discuss in this lecture is drum dryer, which one? Drum dryer. The principle behind this is in this case a uh, heated hollow metal drum, you will see this is the drum. So, this is a drum, uh, metallic drum, it is hollow and we are heating this drum. How a heated hollow metal drum rotates on its longitudinal axis. If you will see the diagram, the part of this drum is dipped into the feeding pan or into the solution which is to be dried. So, the solution is carried by this drum dryer as a film uh, on the surface of the dryer and dried to form a layer and a suitable knife you will see the diagram a suitable knife is there which scrapes the dried material while the drum is rotating. So, in this way this drum dryer works construction of drum dryer, it is a hollow uh, horizontally mounted hollow steel drum as it has been discussed previously the drum is hollow and metallic drum. So, a steel drum is used 0 0.6 to 3 meter diameter. So, this is the diameter of the drum that is 0 0.6 meter to 3 meter and 0 0.6 to 4 meters in length. So, this is the length of the uh, drum the external surface of this drum, the this surface of this drum is polished. So, below the drum you will find a feeding pan, in this feeding pan the liquid is kept which is to be dried. Here a spreader is there and on this side a knife is there, a scraper knife this is called as a spreader. The purpose of this spreader is to spread the liquid which is taking by this drum. On as uh, explained previously on one side of drum a spreader is placed and on other side doctor's knife is placed to scrap the dried material. Uh, storage bin 
is also uh, placed uh, which is connecting to the knife. So, in this place uh, storage bin is placed to collect the materials. Working of drum dryer, what happens uh, as the steam is passed into this drum or inside the of the drum. So, as steam enters into this drum, the drum or the walls of the drum, this walls of the drum it gets heated. So, as the walls gets heated, this drum is rotated at walls get heated and the speed of the rotation of drum is 1 to 10 revolutions or rotations per minute. It means within 1 minute it rotates around 1 to 10 rotations or revolutions. The liquid which is present in feeding pan adheres to the surface of the drum. This is the direction of the movement of the drum as you see as the in this way the drum is rotating. What happens? The portion which is dipped into this feeding pan or in is in contact of liquid, this portion takes the liquid with this and with the help of this spreader liquid gets a thin film of liquid gets spreaded over this outer layer of this drum. This is the liquid film which is spread over this outer layer of the drum. Simultaneously what is happening? Since hot air is already passed through this drum, so the surface of the drum is heated. So, due to that heat it transfers the heat to this liquid film and the liquid film gets dried and as soon as it dried you are obtaining dry film is obtained over the surface of this drum or heated drum. Further moving in downward direction, what happens? This dried film is removed by this doctor's knife. As the doct, uh, dried film is removed, that means the solid particles, dried solid particles, it is collected into this collecting chamber. So, in this way, uh, drying takes place in case of drum dry. Now, the drying process in drum dryer completes in less than one cycle. So, the since you see that the in this process liquid is adhering to this drum and it is moving and, and gets the liquid gets dried and it is removed by this doctor's knife. So, the time of contact of material with the drum is only 6 to 15 seconds, 6 to 15 seconds. So, this is the advantage of drying of material with drum dryer. Advantages of drum dryer as you have seen that the time of contact of material with on the surface of the drum is very less. So, thermolabile substances can also be dried with the help of this drum dryer. Drying time is less in case of drum dryer that means only few seconds takes place. Hence, heat sensitive material can be dried as it has been explained by me earlier that heat labile substances can also be or heat sensitive substances can also be dried with the help of drum dryer because drying time is less. It occupies less space as compared to spray dryer. Uh, uh, the space which is occupied by this drum dryer is less in comparison to spray dryers. Rate of heat 
and mass transfer are high. As in case of this drum dryer, we are using the rate of transfer of heat and rate of mass transfer are faster as compared to other dryers. Product obtained is completely dried and in the final form. So, in case of drum dryer, the products which we are getting after drying process is completely dried product and the what we say uh, that it is in final dried form in the form in which we are we want to obtain it. Disadvantages of drum dryer as we will move further what happens the maintenance cost is higher as compared to spray dry. So, maintenance cost of drum dryer is more uh, in comparison to other dryers. Skilled operators are required the to operate drum dryer efficiently skilled operators or persons are needed. It is not suitable for solutions of salts with less solubility. If uh, salt solutions are there with having less solubility, then in those cases it cannot be dried with the help of drum dryer. uses. <coughs> Generally, it is used for drying solutions, slurries, suspensions and so this type of substances can be dried very easily or efficiently by using drum dryers that means solution, slurry, suspension like that. It is also used for drying of products, milk products. Drum dryer is also used for drying of milk products, starch product, ferrous salt, antibiotics. So, these substances can also be dried with the help of this drum dryer. So, these are some advantages, disadvantages and uses of drum dryer which is used for drying process. Thank you.